Sane is going to give him the chance in the mid-game fights to just get stuck in in the middle and make sure that he's pretty much always able to use all of his mana to get the damage done. Around the bounty is Tiger. He's able to roll and take the bounty underneath the noses of the three members of Beachy Gaming. Beachy Gaming will turn over towards Quite for Quite for taking some heavy hits here from DY as Boom! He's going to go down. DY, he's going to be able to fight first, but they're turning over to Insania as well. Insania, Insania should be fine. Like, he has a fairy fire. Elder Titan does not like to play into. And Koifer. on the top lane, oh, boy, for bottom. He's going to try and get in and start stealing the, the damage, but PYW and Old 11, they turn, and they're going to be able to take him out. Uh, very good on the Storm Spirit, bringing the bottle. A bit of a different game. Whenever I see oh. Taiga playing the top lane. Bird Spirit top. I see Poyoyo, he came in with the Blade Fury. And they're going to be able to punish that. Did come forward to try and take some of the creeps from the side pool. Meaning that he didn't have the Blade Fury still up to actually get away from the chase of Boxing and Sainer. And of course, this duo, they've got a lot of catch and follow up. When they, they have set a lot up with of the burst. Brute. Yeah, especially when the Blade Fury is down. Yeah. He did not want to commit with that healing ward mid lane. Got the gang coming in from Tiger. Yeah, this is what I was about to say. That's mid lane, Mickey. Trying to get some pressure on the tower. They're going to get the zip in. He does have the backup pop in Sainer. Mori getting taken down pretty low by the damage output off Mickey. But there's four heroes here surrounding the Leshrac. They'll bring him down. And Senior not being able to do enough at level three to, oh, to be no able to save him. Going to be two for two, it seems. Oh, yo, yo. Making it's a move. Setup straight away. Coil. That's the combo. Liquid love it. Any sort of ability to force break the coil. The big brain move here from VG yeah, Gaming. Yeah, mana pool. Like, he's super tanky. Yeah. Like, if he changes power trades to strength, it's going to be like seven... 1700 HP. There we go. Liquid trying to start off the action. And into the middle they go. There's the axe. Here's the Bringing back the two of them. They're going to drop down the wards. PYW goes for the lockdown onto Mickey and Sania with a false promise. Keeps Mickey alive. The Dream Card drop down onto the two of them. Boxy coming in from the side. They've lost three. They've lost four. Oh the my goodness. Coming out from last track is just a bit too high. So Old Levin's going to be working on that next. Uh, so we have at the bottom. Coil being dropped, Boxy, and he's going to have the setup on to Ori, and they've got him. He's like, dude, I'm retiring. Like, you need to give me something back. Yeah, he's, yeah. it's time for Ori to start farming him up a moonshot. As uh, bottom lane, Ori, he's, he's dead again. Oh my goodness. See what they can find here. PYW is still in the trees. Tiger is going to come hunting, and he's going to be able to find him. They'll drop the coil, stop the TP. Poyoyo is heading over. See if Poyoyo can do anything in return. He's going to come in with the Omni Slash onto Tiger. A roll away and a phase shift. They'll be able to split the damage. Send him over towards the creep. Poyoyo's not going to be able to get a kill out of this. See what sort of a jump they can get. Ori with the Orchid ready to go. Orchid still one point in Vortex. That's one point in Vortex. He's actually going to be the one to start the action off. He's in with the Dream Coil onto the two of them. Quite for Mickey coming in with the wraparound. The Serpent Wars have been dropped down. PYW getting low. Mickey will be able to finish him. He needs help. Insane is trying to get over to him. He'll buy some time with the self heals. Can Insane get the false box on in time? He can. Mickey will be kept alive. They've lost Boxy. They've lost Insane here. Tiger rolls over towards Ori. The follow up stun's there for Mickey, but Liquid's got to run. It's now, Tiger and Mickey good... on the retreat. It's a smart move to do. It's Poyo Yo. He's going to be the one to carry them this game. If they can pull it off. Down bottom, looking to start things. They'll get the drag on to Mickey with the pullback of the Vortex. Mickey up in the air, the shackles from PYW. Locks down Boxy. Boxy's gone. Mickey getting low. He's into the trees. Quite for getting a good static link off onto Poyoyo. Just takes away about 70 damage. Does not have a BKB, but he can set things up with the Vortex easily. He's going to start things. Poyoyo, oh, he's going to have to get out with the Blade Fury. They've dropped the Dream Card down onto 11. They've caught PYW out in the start. PYW goes down. A long static link on old 11 as well, as he's going to be losing all of his damage. Quite for able to build it up, take him out. Let's see what they can do around mid. Poyoyo stepping up to take this. We'll see if Liquid want to try and defend over in the river. Okay. What's the setup? On to Ori. Tiger's going to try with the follow up, but Poyoyo, he's turned up. Now he's ready to turn things over towards the two of them. They get the pull back on the two. It's an easy setup. Ori just steps in, grabs both of them. Boxy and Mickey are gone. Tiger, he's got to roll out of here. As the rest of Liquid desperately try and run BKB away. Poyoyo's chasing them down. He's in with the Blade Fury. He's got that slow on to the Koifer. Insania trying to help him out. He has got a false promise. As he'll keep Koifer alive for now. Another concoction from Mode 11 coming in. The Shackle lockdown's there. On to Koifer. Vici Gaming. They'll surround and take down the Razor. No amount of heals that this will save him. Insania, he tries to TP out. Will oh, manage to do so in time. Gameplay so far, the itemization yeah. has been perfect. 
getting the two Aghanim Scepters, uh, getting the way of dispelling things with the Berserk Potion or the Lotus Orb. Equip, there's the Lotus Orb already on him. Now Tiger's gonna try and roll in straight over towards Poyoyo. The Kokocha now onto Tiger. They'll come out with the first Swiss Slash. Now the Omni Slash is a big one onto Koifa. Koifa has to be saved right now by the False Promise. They'll buy some time from Ori comes in with a Vortex Drag onto the two of them. Jump ball for Roll 11, the follow-up Kokocha. They're on top of the three of them. Ori getting low will be taken down. He's out for 80, Poyoyo. Trying to turn things over towards Mickey, see if he can chase him. Old Lemon, he's got another concoction, concoction of brewing. Pre YW sets up with the shackles. They've locked down Mickey. They Mickey, stop he's it. out. Two dead on Liquid. Both calls down. Tiger trying to roll away, but a bleak fall from Old Lemon gets in position, blocks off Tiger's escape. Poyoyo in on top of him with the blade through. PYW's got the That's catch with the shackles. Die back from Tiger. No buybacks on these three. They're just going to have to let this one go down bottom. Old Lemon, he's hunting. He knows someone's going to be sitting here. He finds Insania. He checks it out in the tree line, and they'll be able to easily cut him down. A quick swift slash from Poyoyo takes Insania out. Beachy Gaming, they'll get the bottom racks, and they should have time to even move over towards the mid and do some damage here as well. 60 seconds without uh, seconds without Insania, but he still has a buyback. But this should be the barracks. Poyoyo just deals uh, so much damage right now. They have a Lotus Orb, they have a Berserk Potion. And he's going to be able to force out the buyback. buyback. That's also completely Boxy. fine. He's going to jump in, see if he can start something off. Quake for trying to move forward as well. They've got the concoction cooked up. They throw it over the walls. Mickey, Mickey's in trouble. He needs out the splitter. Comes out huge. Just Here to grab the ball. Vic. They're both calls down as soon as they return to the fight. It's over. GG is called as Mickey and Quake for out of the game yet again without buybacks. Oh, that was such a clutch play. You know, Foxy, he goes in, lands a two man coil, but it's just not enough. They do not have a fall. I don't think he's going to be able to get the toss. Tosses the Hellbear Smasher. Old Levin and PYW are able to trade a, a favorable amount of damage back the way of boxing. Mickey also having to step back with the war cry. Time with the lockdown onto Insania. DY is going to move in position if they got enough to change. Done them the crush into the bash. They've done it perfectly, Beachy Gaming. DY hanging around, backing up Ori, who's just himself has, has just hit the level six. So Quaifa looks elsewhere to, to open up some action for Liquid. Mid lane, nice. What a good carrot face there. He knew that it was going to be tossed on him. They need to set up some vision for Monkey King to see the rotation on the tier one tower on the bottom. Top lane, old 11. Setting things up, on to Insania. Got the Shackles, Boxy heads over with the Avalanche. We'll be able to put a stop to them as they'll jump back over towards PYW. Another bash comes out and into the youth. They're able to take down Insania before he could jump away. Potentially invade the jungle. Look oh, at this. This is going to be big. I mean, it really is. Beachy Gaming making perfect movements across the map. They know Mickey's backed up to jungle. And that Enigma can be that game changing hero in a tough matchup. It's top lane DY and 11. Now hunting in for Boxy. Now we've got the level six. They'll have the damage, but they set up with the stuns. Or he's going to come across. Won't look for the kill still, though. Mana burn on Koiqua. DY has uh, nice items for a position five. A PYW. Shaman. Just to lead him with the hex. Serpent wants to drop down liquid. They're able to back off. They'll tell me the vortex pull onto PYW. Yes, there yes, onto Tiger. Crackle. Oh my god. Wait, I didn't even see it. Cancel the abilities when they're not even, you know, used already. <laughs> no, nah, this definitely was uh, something that I've not seen in the yeah. last 15 years. So go to top lane, Storm Spirit, just gonna get deleted. Boxy, level six on Tiny, still far, far away from a blank dagger. 11, just tanking up. I'm not sure if they can kill him. I mean, they're, they're trying to go on him. I'll drop the dream coil. Gonna snap the coil. And All that right. will do it. The full combo there from them all will get the kill. So you already try and jump in with the counter play. Doesn't want to actually commit any further. It's uh, DY. And then position actually able to put a stop to that initial jump. But the Orchid, they'll have the damage to still grab it. Let's see if he can chase this here. Tiger, he's gonna have backup on the way. Boxy. And Insania coming over, Boxy trying to go for Poyo Yo's. Poyo Yo's actually turned up to this fight. Nice He's going to get hole. tossed back into the black hole. Tiger catches the two of them with that setup from Boxy. Fury means I should go and uh, try to take fight, battle with the enemies. Does not end up well. Boxy getting caught. We'll definitely need a BKB. Like we've seen some even greedier builds, but definitely like a BKB in this game is a must. Over the river, getting the catch on Boxy. Black hole for 40 seconds, but a dream coil could be enough. Insania, look for the setup. So moving on to old 11. Bots over from Ori. The counter play is inbounds as Boxy gets jumped. Poyo, yo, he, he really Boundless wants to fight. Ready. He sees Enigma. See what he can catch here. He's going to look towards Insania. Setup's there. 
Got enough mana, just enough for the Remnant to come out after the Yule Zori. Locks down Insania. Can they get the jump? Insania trying to start things up, but Smoke will dispel Ori. It's going to be found as Insania pokes his head in, drops the silence. We'll also drop the core just down under one of them. Quite far. Zipping into the back lines. Tigers trying to head over. The Wukong's come on. It's going to come out from Poyo. They've got the catch on a Quite Quite He's able to zip away, though. He's out of the wards, he's out of the Wukong's command. So that's two ults down for Vici Gaming. Liquid, they'll still want to fight this. As Mikke is charging over towards Old 11, they close the gap on the Slider. Tiger still sitting on the back, waiting for an opportunity to get in and catch them all. With the pulse down, they've got the damage to kill off Old 11. They can keep fighting, like, they can fight once again. Like, even if Sven does not have well, ulti, he still deals a ton of damage. He's got the setup. Quakefoot wasn't ready for that. Jumped into the wave to try and clean it out. And DY was ready, hiding with the Spike Carapace. Nice toss. Getting Senia back to safety. That's what DY. Now get him. In they go with the Orchid. DY's gone. And at the same time, they will lose Insania. Vici Gaming able to find a trade. The dive's coming in mid game. He's been hexed. Have they got any follow up? The Shackles comes out. He's locked to the Intertap. The Tiger oh. in with the Black Hole. He's locked down on 11. Mickey is still trapped in the Serpent Wards though. Mickey, he's got to get out of it, but he can't. He's dying underneath the tower. Liquid, they'll lose three of them for that dive. No, so the math is just worth started working on the BKB. Oh, the axe. what an Ogre Axe, okay. Yeah. Makes complete sense. They're gonna catch. Like, Ori is just going ham this game. Now, Boxy. Boxy getting caught. I mean, he's, he's gone for the courier. Oh, that's gonna allow DY and PYW the time to close in on him. Let's jump over from Ori. The follow up's there. It's gonna be another kill for the Void Spirit. Liquid holding the high ground. 11's like, I don't care. Right, Poyoyo straight in. He's able to get over the back lines. He's looking straight towards Tiger. Tiger's going to turn. He's going to be able to get the BKB in the black hole off as he controls Poyoyo. But Poyoyo's got the Aegis. Jump over from Ori. Ori going straight over towards Tiger. Will be able to burst him with the Astral Step. Mikke turns with the God Strength over towards Old 11. The Wukong's command is down. Old 11 still alive. Over to the side. PYW's being focused by PYW. He's able to walk it off. He's still going to live finally. And Sadia takes him down. But they've lost in Tiger. They've lost Mikke. As in the river, boxing Quakefer, they've got a run. Quakefer, Quake he's out of mana. mana. Poyoyo jumps in. Quakefer using his last bit of mana to pull Poyoyo in. Bound but Quakefer, oh. he cannot escape this. As three dead on Liquid, they lose three on Vici Gaming, but Vici Gaming, they're keeping their cause alive. It's just 6k, it doesn't look like the biggest number, but it's very much already in a place where, as you say, they can only fight when they have Tiger's Black Hole. Even now, then, it's still going to be tough. Too good of a game. He's going on. Puck, Hex will finish him off. That's beyond godlike for him. And over at the side, they've forced the BKB out of Quakefer. Quakefer's got to run. He's going to be able to get out. Big Zip and a, a TP will save him. Yeah. Have I you started to think about where you want to move if Team Liquid loses? Like, what's the region? <laughs> what's the region? Yeah. Oh, I think they, they seem to have a lot of fun in SA. I don't like PYW. He's able to find the setup. Mikke, he was pushing out this lane completely on his own. PYW is easily able to find the setup from the tree lines, and Mikke's gone. PYW is the one who's going to go in, set things up once oh, again. I mean, every single time, PYW. He's got the setup with the bots on Ori. There's always going to be the follow-up. Zold 11, BKP and Ags are pretty much impossible targets to go on. DY is going to get the spike carap off as Boxy's going to try and start the fight off. Boxy is getting focused down on the back lines. Poyoyo is able to take out Insania. The punt goes down. Old 11's got the bash control onto Boxy as it's two dead on Liquid. Mikke is popped the god straight for the BKB. He's tried to run black Tiger. Hole. Comes in with a black hole, catching off the two of them. Now they're going to be able to have the damage turn these around. Now PYW is in with a hex onto Mikke. So even though they find the black hole, Mikke's just not able to get the hits off the shackles from PYW onto Mikke. Liquid just can't put a team fight together. There's far too much from Vici Gaming that just interrupts anything that they try and do. That the only way they lose this game if they group up Enigma lands a, a multiple man black hole. Oh, oh and a he PYW gets him. again! I mean, you can't even zip TP because PYW is ready. I mean, Liquid, they'll have one more fight in them, but there's no black hole for a minute. Not that that's really been making much of a difference with how well Vici Gaming's been playing around that threat. So here's the jump, Ori. He's in, and as soon as he's in, Boxy's gone. Just taken out immediately by a huge crit from the barrel of the strike. Over for the shackles, Koifer with the buyback. He'll go straight for PYW. He needs to get rid of the shaman. So over towards the fountain. Old Levin, he's diving he's in. We have to kill on Tiger inside the fountain. The BKB is popped by Mickey, but this he can't get back. The physical damage is too high. This is three dead on Liquid. Beachy Gaming, they'll push on for the third set of racks. Vukong's command just to keep inside them. Inside the, the fountain. Know, it's uh, a bit too much. They got the mega creeps in. Uh, 
Next 30 seconds, a lot of the tips oh. coming out. Poyo, yo, beyond godlike. Ori, beyond godlike. Pretty much the perfect the game for both uh, position one and two. And there we go. GG, well played. It's called Vici Gaming. A brilliant game two here. I mean, two impressive matches that it's just blown liquid completely out.